Wolf. Yeah, nah, this is the only way to fly. Righto, Teleoto champs. Now I've got to tell you something. After playing with the RTX 4090 for the last week or so, yeah, nah, I'll give you the tip. The 4000 series graphics cards for laptops are just going to be absolutely amazing. And you're not going to believe this. 3dcenter.org actually analysed all these launch reviews, 5,270 benchmarks, compiled it all, and the RTX 4090 over the 3090, not the 3090 Ti, with the data points of 5,000 sort of benchmarks, 70% faster at 4K. Let's keep that number in mind because I'm actually going to limit this 4090 to laptop wattages, lower down the memory speed, the same with the CPU, we're going to lower the memory speed because we know laptop memory is not as good as desktops, and we're going to see what happens. How much faster are these 40 series laptops going to be? Let's try and replicate it. But I actually did make a video not too long ago saying the RTX 3090, 3080 was bad news for laptops because they're going to be so hot. I am so glad I was wrong. Now, this fooled everyone, right? Because we all saw the behemoth four-slot, you know, GPUs with insane cooling. And the thing is, they all done it in unison, right? So if one manufacturer just made a beefy cooler, you think, well, they just put some R&D into it. Yeah, good luck to them. But when every single manufacturer in unison produces these overkill coolers, it can only mean one of two things. One, they weren't able to push the 4090 as much as they thought they would. Ah, possibility. And two, and it can be and or, but more likely I would say there's another graphics card coming and these coolers are actually built for another graphics card that's going to use a lot more power, whether that be a 4090 Ti or Titan or something like that, because otherwise all these coolers do not make sense. But the thing is, these Linda Lovelace GPUs, if you know, you know, let me know down there in the comments. Deep throat, deeper than deep, my friend. But these are actually really efficient and uh, I think the Bauer put out a stat that if you have it at 70% power target, you can get, you know, 95% of the performance. Like, it's just, wow. The performance per watt is just insane. But let's do it. Let's try and replicate what's going to go into the laptops. Now, there's some things here. There is going to be no 4090 laptop, that's for sure. Well, at least going on past history. But there will be a 4080. So the laptop GPU won't have as many CUDA cores, that's for sure. The memory won't be as fast. But they should have better performance per watt. So anyway, let's try and replicate it and see what happens. So the GPU I'm using, of course, is the RTX 4090. This is one of the top G gaming cards here, the tough version, the OC version, everything you want. I mean, this thing goes hard, has the extra 33% power limit. It's quiet, built well, everything you sort of want in GPU. But what I've done here is I've limited the CPU to 3.2 gigahertz. That's the lowest I can go. Hopefully that's around the sort of 50 watt mark there, which is sort of what you'd get in a laptop in a gaming scenario. And here, with Afterburn, I've turned down the core clock as low as I can and I've turned down the memory clock as low as I can and I've put a power limit in of 38% so hopefully that should be about 165 watts because like a gaming laptop like if you're looking at the top G gaming laptops they're going to do about 50 watts on the CPU and do about 165 watts 175 watts at best on the GPU. So we're gonna try and limit this to that. And of course, it's not analogous. They're not exactly the same things. The CUDA cores won't be the same. The memory won't be the same, but just let's see what we come up with. So let's run Time Spy. What we can see there, ooh, 176 watts, perfect. That's what a good laptop will do. 47 watts on the CPU, 166 watts on the GPU. That's perfect. Now what we're looking for here in Time Spy, a top G laptop will do about, what do they do, about 13,000, maybe 14,000, the best ones out there. We're talking, we're talking about the graphics score here, and I'm actually amazed that that's nearly perfectly what a laptop would do, about, you know, 45, maybe 50 watts on the CPU and about 160 on the GPU. Perfect, absolutely perfect. 
So yeah, we'll run through this benchmark. Keep that sort of score in mind. 14,000, the absolute best you're going to get on the top G laptops at the moment for the graphics score because we're not going to compare the CPU score on that. And we'll see what this sort of score comes out. And look, we're stabbing in the dark here. Actually, I'd actually like to know in the comments, please, if there's any way you can think about how I could test this to sort of mimic sort of what a, a, a laptop will do if you can think of something better than this. I'm, I'm all up for ideas, please. Uh, share down there in the comments, but we're getting definitely 100% like top G gaming modages there. Like that's like the best laptop 17 inch are going to sort of do that sort of thing there. And doesn't QD OLED look nice? It's not even HDR and it looks nice, doesn't it? So yeah, um, let's see what this run does. And remember the 3090 and 4090, 70% uplift, all right? So that was the average of 5,000 sort of benchmarks. That's just a sort of like a ballpark sort of figure there. And we'll work out, you know, how much faster this is compared to a gaming laptop and see if it makes sense. It might not work out at all. I have no idea what this sort of score will come out. But, um, yeah, let's find out. All right, what's the score going to be? What's the score? 22. 22. All right, 22 graphics score, so 14,000 for the best sort of top G gaming laptop to 22,000 at the same sort of wattage using this, which would have more CUDA cores or have faster memory. But I expect better performance per watt with the sort of laptop, you know, silicon. So is my maths right? Is that about 70%? Like, seriously, is it 14, 22,000? I've got to work it out, but um, I think it is around that sort of 70% mark. So anyway, that was my stab in the dark. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. You know, the 4080 can be 70% faster than the 3080 gaming laptops. I will say one thing, though. I'm a bit worried about sort of CPU bottleneck with the laptops because CPU bottleneck is a big thing with this 4090, especially at the lower resolutions, and the CPUs are pretty slow on laptops compared to, say, desktops. So that's got me a little bit concerned there. So he might take a haircut with that, with, you know, waiting for the CPU all the time and slower memory and, of course, less CUDA cores. But... I don't know. It, I think that's 70%. Let me know down there in the comments. I'll work it out now. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho. Let's play this game at these laptop voltages. As you can see there, 60 watts on the CPU. That's probably a bit high for a CPU on a laptop. Yeah, but, you know, um, 150 watts on a GPU. Yep, a good laptop will do that. So Tell you let's just see how it plays. I've got DLSS enabled. This is how I played on a 3070 desktop, the exact same settings. I'll just turn down this sound a bit. Do a bit of Smokey Joe because they love that. They're big fans. Um, just concentrating on the frames. And as you can see there, pretty much not quite the amount of frames that a 3070 gets. Just a little bit below, I could get about 200 frames with 3070. So um, here I'm getting about yeah 160 frames. That's with DLSS, mind you. Remember that, and you know that's because this is fairly high resolution. Whoa, whoa, um, yeah. So you know it is what it is. I this is good performance. This is nearly 3070 desktop performance whoa where did he go <laughs> he ran straight past me <sighs> oh that's funny these guys are blind what are they they are they're blind <laughs> oh my god i'll just sit up here the old smoky joe but yeah what, 175 FPS? That's RTX 3070 sort of performance there. So you're getting desktop RTX 3070 performance on, you know, the sort of wattage that a laptop would get, which would be absolutely amazing for a laptop to do that. For a laptop to get, like, desktop 3070 performance, that's pretty good. 
and we saw before it looks like roughly a 70 percent uplift sort of thing where are these guys there's cunts everywhere jesus christ yeah i got all of them <laughs> hello see you later oh i better reload she's popping up um oh hello Fuck! i'm taking that scope off he loved it. Big fan, big fan. They're all big fans of the thermals. They love that stuff. Um, yeah, so... Oi. Jesus Christ. They don't give you a moment's break, do they? So, yeah. Let's turn the DLSS off, actually. Why the fuck is he right, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, DLSS off. This is exactly how I played on my desktop because I needed DLSS on to get, you know, 175 hertz, which is what I want on this monitor. Um, and, boy, turns out it's all right with the LSS. Off. Like, that oh, that's hate, interesting. Why? Well, I think I kill there's no every difference. Time. Mayo. Well, that was bad Paddy shooting. Mayo. And Very again. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like he's getting pissed off. Oi, snipey snipes! Wesley snipes! See you later. Yep, so i got to say, if this is what the laptops are going to bring, helicopter. desktop, we're talking like real desktop performance now. Yeah, 100%. Like proper. Uh, Doing better than you this game. Uh, and that's just yeah, game changing, you know what I mean? It's like... 3070 performance, maybe a little bit more actually. I don't think the 3070 does this this resolution without the LSS at these FPS. I would I have really to. Gun. It's just I need a, oh, see you later, is. son. He loves yeah. it. Big fan, big fan. All big fans everywhere. Whee, where's that guy? Come on. He's just amateurs. I'm the top G. Oh, I'm blind. I missed him. Hey, see you later, son. <laughs> Wait, are these guys bozos or what? <laughs> fuck those amateurs, oh my gosh. <laughs> They're raging like a loonies. Oh, God, this is funny. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, what? Where are they? Are they coming back? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not even concentrated. I'm doing it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? I must be playing amateurs. Oh. <laughs> what am I playing amateurs? How can you beat me, not beat me close up with an SMG? Like, seriously. Oi. Seriously. I don't understand. Anyway, I'll get this thing out. 